guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here how you doing no please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and let's get started so this video is actually going to be the third video in my wedding series maybe it'll actually be the last one so this video is going to be me transforming safely with COVID happening. But it's like an industrial loft vibey type of room. It's just a basic springy wood floor with Florida almost ceiling um, mirror. It's gorgeous. Uh, and it's in their church, which is also used as a cafe, which is also used as academy, which they also have classes. and It's great. It's beautiful. So because of COVID, my best friend didn't get to use her location. Um, went for her for her wedding so we ended up trying to just revamp the church uh, space and so I was still in charge of the bridal suite so I did my best everything that you see was either upcycled old glass jars um, old lightings from Christmas from the house a lot of fake florals a lot of real florals um, some of the stuff I got off of Amazon whatever I can find I will link in the description um, but I tried to make it work with what I had. If I had a lot of money, the space was gorgeous. When you see it in the clips, you see how gorgeous it is. And if I was rich, I would have transformed the entire space. You can see that it has a lot of potential. But I only had two days to do this. And, well, I could have had more days. I chose two days. And um, I did it by myself. Could have had help. Again, not saying anything bad here. Just saying... If I had a lot more money and a lot more hands, this probably would have been Pinterest inspo. So I did what I could in the time that I had with the supplies that I had. I can't talk today. Let's see what this space looks like raw before I bring in any supplies. Let's just see what we have to work with, so. So this is a before shot of the space that I have to work with. As you can see, it's gorgeous. It's very vibey there is a lot of mirrors there so we have a lot to work with in terms of makeup stations we also have a lot of lighting the brick wall is also very nice and the space actually came with a little rack okay so right now this is what the dance room bridal suite looks like uh, i have a cookie because i was eating we just went through the run through of the wedding um, and right now I'm just kind of going over some of the details of how it's gonna look. We're gonna have a couch area, a changing area, the bride area, and then just a getting ready area. Um, so that is the vision. I am gonna try and, I'll show you like my Pinterest inspo. We're gonna really see how much I can work out in this space. And you're just, you guys are gonna see it, so stick around gotten into the habit that before I start any project, I start a board. So I did this on Google Slides and this was my inspiration for the space. Now I wanted a bride area. I also wanted to make sure that we had a changing area as well as a hair station and a garment rack, which was a focal point. We also had a photo op couch area and a makeup table. So on the side here is basically my Pinterest board. I had a lot of Pinterest inspo. I separated it into categories because I needed to know what I was going to DIY, what I had to work on hand, according to what I wanted it to look like, and then ideas that I saw that I can make on my own. So on the side, you'll see it's very, the kind of style that she had for her wedding was very rustic. It was not supposed to be very DIY, but it ended up being very DIY and it was beautiful. Kudos to her and to her team which I am a part of, but I'm not trying to give myself kudos. I'm giving kudos to everyone out there. You know who you are. You made this day amazing. Everything was so, it was beautiful. It was just the right amount of perfect. Okay, so I, yeah, a lot of Pinterest inspo. I also actually ended up privately uploading a, um, a video guide for the bridal party in terms of what the bride expected hair wise, nails, makeup, jewelry, 
and so I made a little YouTube video for them and they I gave them the link so they can look at it as many times as they needed to so that we didn't have to bombard the bride on the day of so that was another thing that I did on the side so I did do a video just wasn't for you guys yeah this is the bridal suite mini makeover I hope you guys like it um, I did this more so for the bride to enjoy so that she can remember her day of um, there's not a lot of actual footage so you will be seeing some highlights after I throw out the before and afters of the bridal suite um, just so you can see how everything worked on the day of you'll get to see how the bridal party used the space getting our makeup done our hair done but I kept everything as private as possible so I just showed maybe some highlights but I didn't do a lot of filming because I was very much in the moment of the wedding so you guys are just you're just gonna see all those clips and I hope you enjoy it <laughs> So the first step was getting a sense of the space. I took out all of my supplies. I tried to lay it out. I also cleaned out some areas that looked a little wonky just to make sure the space was clean before I just started to work some magic over it. We also had a little help here from the groom. Just bringing in that extra makeup table for the girls. Look at them go. Let's give them some props, shall we? So this is when things just finally start to take shape. I have a vision, I know what I need to do, and I'm just going to start to do it. Of course it's not a makeover without a little bit of a DIY touch so these hangers I actually personalized for each of the women in the bridal party and I had my little practice sheet here because I didn't want to mess up and they got to take these hangers home with them and their robes were hanging off of it on our nice little garment rack and it was a nice focal point on the day of. So at the end of day one, I mapped out the room, laid everything out, and then I made sure that I knew exactly what I wanted to do for day two. I also wanted to make sure that this whole top of the mirror was clean because I was going to be hanging some fabric off of it, just to frame it out. Gotta start the next DIY day on a light note, so I'm just jamming out to some tunes before I get really, really busy with the, the room makeover. And as you can actually see behind me, I've already started hanging some of the fabric over the mirrors. Of course, what's a makeover without a little bit of a DIY dilemma? Here's a recap of what my full memory card did not capture. I ended up finishing out the space. I finished the garment rack, which looks really nice. I finished hanging the curtains on the mirrors, as well as setting up the bride table and the makeup table and the hair station. The only thing that was left to do day of were the balloons.
all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know every time I upload a video. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what was your favorite part. And to my favorite bride, congratulations. I love you.